In India, where Nell and I have worked for so many years, it's interesting to see the farmers plow their fields. You know, here in America, we have huge fields and, and large equipment, but not so in India. They still work the ground there just as their forefathers did hundreds of years ago. You'll see a yoke of oxen out in the field tilling the soil. And then when it's turned right, they'll put a seed back over their shoulder and walk down through that field broadcasting the seed into the ground. This is what Paul was talking about in Galatians 6, verses 7 and 8, when he said, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. He that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. But he had just made this statement that he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Now remember at the first he said, don't be deceived, don't be misled, this is true. Whatever you sow, that is what you are going to reap. And so we find it true in life. Paul is here visualizing a man going down through the world. The world is the field. He has a seed bag over his shoulder. And he's sowing his thoughts, his words, his actions, the places to which he goes, the relations that he has with others. And he's either doing one of two things. He's either sowing to the flesh or he's sowing to the spirit. If he's sowing to the flesh, he's sowing to those things which are unrighteous and ungodly and immoral. If he's sowing to the spirit, he's sowing to those things which are right in the sight of God, which God has commanded. And he is warned that as you have sowed, so shall you also reap. The person in prison is reaping what he sowed. The respected doctor is reaping what he sowed. Be not deceived. You can't sow a crop of wild oats and reap clover. It isn't done. Father, help us to understand the truth that we will reap as we've sown and to sow those things that are right in thy sight. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.